My mission to make God loved will begin after my death. I will spend my heaven doing good on earth. I will send a shower of roses. We, the Society of the Little Flower, have been bringing the life and the way of St. Therese of Lisieux to millions of faithful in North America through retreats and special programs of spirituality. This is important and a most joyful responsibility. Following her death after her short 24 years of life here on earth, Therese has sent us a shower of roses, uncounted miracles, amazing cures, great signs and conversions, all attributed to her intercession, just as she promised. Therese has kept her word, and she's keeping her word today. But now we need your help as caretakers of the legacy of St. Therese. It is our turn to do good here on earth, to preserve her memory. To secure the legacy of St. Therese, we have embarked on a journey of love. The first part of our journey is to help her nuns of Lisieux repair and restore the Carmel in France, our tangible connection to her life here on earth. We must not allow the last vestiges of St. Therese's life on earth to crumble away and to be lost for future generations. This is where Therese lived. This is where Therese worked and wrote her autobiography, The Story of a Soul, now so widely read around the world today. This is where Therese spent her last days on earth and spoke her final words. My God, I love you. That is why the aging monastery needs our help. It is our touchstone with her. We must save this for our own and future generations, preserve her memory, keep her message alive, safeguard the relics of her life. Today, the Carmel of Lisieux, where Therese lived, is still vibrant. 26 Carmelite nuns work daily in the workshops of this old monastery, which has remained largely as it was in the time of Therese. But now sections have recently become dangerous. It's just unhealthy and even unsafe. Yet a lot of their daily life still takes place there as they continue the contemplative life as St. Therese did. Therese's life story is itself a miracle. By following the little way, by living her hidden life, and then obediently writing down what she had learned and experienced, she taught us to trust and to love God and each other unconditionally. Therese has been proclaimed to be the greatest saint of modern times by several popes and the youngest saint ever to be declared a doctor of the church. Such is the impact of her spirituality. During late World War II, nowhere in Normandy was safe. The Allies landed and moved forward from the beaches. The Nazis defended their fortifications throughout northwestern France. And right in the middle of it all was the little town of Lisieux. First came the bombing. And then the fires came, building by building toward the Carmel. Only a shift in the wind at the last moment saved the Carmel. Save then, this 180-year-old monastery is now threatened again, this time by the relentless pressures of nature over those years. While buildings fail and fall away, this is not just a building. It's not just a landmark. It's a sacred place that's visited by more than two million humble pilgrims every year. With your help, the Society of the Little Flower will serve as the driving force that will lovingly restore St. Therese's Monastery in Lisieux. This must be done to ensure the integrity of the structure for the future. You know, frankly, the nuns have nowhere else to turn. And for those who know and love her, but can't get to France, we are undertaking the second part of our journey. We will expand opportunities for people to experience St. Therese, her little way and her spirituality here in North America, right here in Darien, through retreats and other spiritual programs. 
We will revamp and expand the program here at the National Shrine of St. Therese, which contains the largest collection of artifacts and relics outside of Lisieux, and the Carmelite Spiritual Center here in Darien, Illinois. It will be a modern, interactive, and enhanced environment that explains the life and the spirituality of St. Therese, giving pilgrims the opportunity to have personal, unique experiences of their own, including an opportunity for overnight extended pilgrimages. We need to keep St. Therese's life in our times, to keep in touch with a little flower who has so much more to give. And our two-part journey will accomplish just that. These weathered bricks, this crumbling mortar and leaking walls of the Carmel are still the physical reminders of her life, her love, and the tangible expression of her little way. Our care for the Carmel expresses our love for her and our need for her continuing intercession on all our behalf. The National Shrine of St. Therese will remain for most of us the focal point for pilgrimage and prayer. With its enhanced facilities and expanded programming, it will truly be her national shrine in North America. Please, please continue as a caretaker of her legacy by joining me in this journey. We now have an urgent need to restore and preserve the Carmel of Lisieux. And I'm asking you to do what you can. Share what treasure you can for this effort. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart and she will also thank you. You know well enough that our Lord does not look so much at the greatness of our actions, nor even at their difficulty, but at the love with which we do them.